Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. Um, I gotta get used to being in front of the camera since I can't, absolutely can't ride the bike. It is just, oh my gosh, it's freezing cold. It's 10 degrees outside and I'm not one of those polar bear challenge kind of motorcycle riders. So good for you guys who are doing that. But I will get out and just put a load on the engine. I don't have a battery tender. Um, but I do need to get some stable fuel stabilizer and I don't know every two or three weeks I try to put a load on the engine and just to keep the battery going but uh, thanks Jonathan for sending your battery tender to me <laughs> um, I've not done it in the five years that I've been riding well I've been up here in Utah for three years I think and um, I've, I haven't put a battery tender on it and locked it away because there's always that that one sunny winter day <laughs> that you can get out if you just bundle up. But um, I miss riding. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do a whole bunch of, uh, well, I'm going to try to, like every Thursday, get a video to you guys because I got a lot of comments and feedback about um, things that I can do during the winter for keeping my YouTube channel going. I get up at 3.30 in the morning and... Uh, I work until 3.35, from 5 to 3.30 every Monday through Thursday. So um, this is kind of like my Friday nights. And um, I may or may not be wearing pants. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> it helps. I'm just totally comfortable. What I want to tell you guys about is um, kind of like a, a diet. But once you do it, it's it just becomes like a lifestyle thing. And it... I just I feel amazing. Um, it's called the Whole Thirty, and there's a book. Um, there's online. I don't know. There's there's websites, Instagram recipes, and everything. But um, it's a book, and it talks about. Well, half of it is um, Whole Thirty recipes. So, um, and the other half explains like the mental <laughs> kind of like processing that you go through when you do this Whole Thirty and you cut out the foods that they um, recommend um, you just commit to it for 30 days and you know 30 days is nothing it really it just flew by and I'm totally addicted to like eating and losing weight so the whole 30 is I mean they keep it simple with just 30 days because anybody can do that um, like 90 days or looking at the rest of your life with that with cutting out or being on a diet is um, it's too much so they just do 30 days. Um, I really liked it. And I don't want to go back to eating the foods that they they cut out. So, <laughs> they, I mean, in the book it says how to not win friends. <laughs> so by telling them you can't eat this, 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 this. But it's, it's not that... It's not that bad. It's not that strict either. I mean, you're a grown adult. You can do whatever you want. You can lie to yourself, but you won't feel as good. You won't get as much of the reward if you if you don't commit to it like 100%. And anybody, you know, anybody can do it. Um, so it's like no dairy. Um, you have to clarify your butter, which is, it was really fun for me. It's like alchemy. <laughs> but I think it's fantastic. Um, it has kind of like a a nutty kind of flavor to it and I accidentally way burned it so it turned out like dark and not golden oil with butter color but um, it's even better I mean it smells fantastic and in the whole 30 that I mean every recipe calls for this butter and I'm like oh my god I've I've not had like guacamole on a diet before or butter and just like fried asparagus or whatever and I even tried cooking an artichoke and I've, I tried all these fancy things because you can have butter I mean it's not it's not crazy but you can also try do new things like coconut oil and almond oil and I mean it, it's just the food is fantastic so I mean I've gone through some of the recipes but it's basic basic whole ingredients not processed foods so it it was really fun for me to to try new things like butternut squash soup and um oh somebody's here I can hear him stomping around I hate talking to myself <laughs> with work and um you know just having to cook for one so I make a ton of spaghetti squash and a ton of butternut squash soup and then I can just I throw it in the freezer whatever I don't use and have that through the week and I make I mean sausage and hash browns. I've come up with this fantastic rice cauliflower recipe. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll share it too. So, um, 
cauliflower you can make mashed potatoes with, and they're not they're not mashed potatoes. I mean, I don't need to like lie to myself and say, oh my gosh, these don't taste like mashed potatoes, but cauliflower is amazing. It has, I mean, you can put anything in it. I riced it in my like food processor. I need, I'll just do a video of it. It's fantastic. And I'll just put, you know, everything. It tastes just like fried rice, but it's cauliflower and it's totally like light. It's like eating a salad. Uh, it tastes fantastic. And by week two, I, I totally trusted the food and I don't know. I mean, I was at 148 like a month before doing this and going to the gym, busting my ass, <laughs> you know, working out and just eating clean foods, but just like a hard boiled egg for, for breakfast and just starving myself. It wasn't, so it didn't feel right eating sausage and hash browns and a hard boiled egg or, and a scrambled egg in the morning. It was just so weird to me, but I felt so good that I could still like go to the gym um, I had lots of energy and uh, so I started at 148 like a month before I started the whole 30 and during the whole whole 30 I was just like so happy and I ended up uh, losing 15 pounds that that month but I'm, I'm totally comfortable with the way the way that I feel the energy that I have and I've just I don't know I've let the whole scale go <laughs> and realized that I mean my body just started running like a machine it just was doing its thing it tells you you know if you have enough energy go to the gym um, so I was like really just weirded out about eating myself into uh, losing weight <laughs> so I don't know but anyways I'm at 133 right now uh, lost 15 pounds and I'm totally stoked um, I just want to keep going you know I don't know like what a healthy weight is and what my body needs to be at and so like uh, I need the book with me sorry um no dairy no grains no alcohol oh, let's see no legumes I guess so peanuts but you can have almonds and cashews and all of that stuff but anyways if you get the book I mean I bought it for two people now and um they there's at work they're asking me what I do what I've been doing and I'm just like I've been eating I've been eating and I just I feel fantastic it's a whole lot of cooking and a lot of preparation but preparation keeps you from going to McDonald's and I mean there is absolutely nothing good in fast food but you can go to like five guys and get a lettuce wrapped hamburger and um, you can go to let's see Chipotle you can go online and look at like all the whole 30 friendly recipes that are easy and, and there's even like restaurants you can go to and it, but once you look over the recipe in the book you can order off any menu just have them like hold the sugar <laughs> don't don't have them drizzle whatever on over your uh, steak if you are one of the New Year's resolutions kind of people I think that this is just the most fantastic easiest program to follow and one that you just want to go back to and um, live make it a lifestyle um, there's not a lot of sacrifices I mean over 30 days but you're not gonna <laughs> I didn't want to go back I don't want to go back to uh, eating processed foods and all of that but like I said if you're one of the New Year's resolutions people who has a really hard time with diet the word diet and um, you know if you've struggled before, like I have, I dieted my way up to 148 pounds. <laughs> Especially, it's hard during the winter too because I can't get out much, but snowboarding is helping a lot. Yeah, this has gone on forever. Um, I will see you guys uh, next Thursday. Well, I'll record Thursday and probably upload Friday, but um, thanks for your comments and your suggestions. If you're doing anything like this, let me know and we can share and we can get excited. <laughs> excited about it. I'm still like, I don't know, mm, 10 pounds away <laughs> from where I want to be. But, um, so, and thanks again for, uh, suggesting like topics that I can do while I'm not riding my motorcycle. But, um, <laughs> I still have, uh, let's see, Lake Louise when we went to, uh, Canada to do. I saw that video to share with you guys. So I just got to make time for editing. Okay, um, bye. Thanks for watching.